Oh my good lord, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. Nagada and Toten, Call of Duty Zombies in Fortnite. I know there's been a lot of zombie maps over the years remade, but this is without doubt the most impressive remake I've seen to date. Now, you might look at this as just a knacked remake in Fortnite, but this isn't just Nagda and Toten. It's the entirety of World at War Zombies, including every part of World at War. Every gameplay function, every little minute detail, it's all here. Oh my god, it's even drops. We've got insta-kill. That is honestly pretty mad. In terms of like the detail, it honestly is really impressive. Like everything looks very, very crisp. And we even got points as well. Press to clear debris costs a thousand. You can see we've got the points in the bottom right. We've got pistol. We've got the nades. So we've got the uh, barricades, but it seems the zombies can uh, still climb through that. We've got quick revive as well. Man, that's mad. I think this is an exception to the rule where we can have quick revive on Nakda and Toten. It, it, we'll, we'll let it slide on this case, but... Man, the atmosphere is very, very close to the World at War original. Extremely close. And the fact that this isn't just like a cheap version either. Like, we've got full-on rounds here. Oh my god, that is a heck of a lot of zombies. And they can get through the help door. Honestly, it's a little terrifying, so I'm going to open up that. Right, let's switch to a nade. Throw a nade down. Oh my god. Okay, that's that taken care of. Oh, look at the mystery box! Honestly, that looks amazing. What sort of guns have we got? And there's different rarities as well. Infantry rifle. Well, I know that's not great. We'll swap that out. Okay. We're not going to be wielding anything amazing for these first few rounds. I'm intrigued to see if aside from the quick revive for solo, if everything else has been kept exactly as it is. Do the wall buys work? The wall buys do work. And they're in the exact same placements as well. That is honestly pretty impressive i cannot even lie to you you can meme about fortnite all day long but i think one thing fortnite have done incredibly well which call of duty need to focus on with modern warfare 2 and if it's not possible black ops 2024 is the massive focus on creative mode in this game the creative mode is so incredibly in depth and they are updating it to a brand new 2.0 version at some point soon and we need this sort of thing in call of duty just imagine making your own maps like we've got mod tools which exist for black ops 3 but that's about it and you have to be pretty knowledgeable on pc in order to make really good maps but with this people are making incredible things and it is far less complex than it is with the mod tools on pc and more importantly all of these can be played on all platforms while custom zombies maps and multiplayer maps can only be played on pc oh my god oh i'm running out of ammo really damn quick that's one thing i've noticed spin the box again Oh, there seems to be some sort of wonder weapon in there. Primal rifle. I don't even know what that could be. Okay, I can't tell if we have a dog round or not. There are some stuff spawning outside the map. Okay, it's just normal normal zombie rounds. I'm going to say, wait a minute. They added dog rounds in Nagda and Toten. But the really impressive thing is that the creators of this are planning on doing a full Zombie Chronicles remaster in Fortnite, which you can't... I mean, you can't fault that. That is absolutely madness. Wait, we've got a drop here. What is that? Oh, a max ammo? Hell yeah. And an automatic sniper rifle. Oh, don't mind if I do. Oh, what the heck is that drop? Oh, we got a double points power up. Nice. I was like, hang on a minute. Is that a dark for crystal? We're now getting these like purple zombies. I haven't played Fortnite in a very long time, but I can probably work out that these are much stronger zombies. Oh God. Yo, they just spawned so quickly out of nowhere. All right, we might have to, might have to go to this classic spot. I mean, come on. You can't deny that the quality of this remaster is not on par with what we saw with Zombies Chronicles. I mean, there's some sort of minute details which aren't quite as uh, crisp as what we saw with Zombies Chronicles, of course, but it's not bad by any means. Okay, this sniper. Wow. You're telling me I can sit here in this grenade spot and camp with a sniper? Insane. All right, let's have a look here. Do we have the sniper cabinet? Oh my god, we do. I'm not opening it, though. It's the biggest scam ever. This is where things are starting to get really scary now. Really, really scary. There's no pack-a-punch. There's no nothing. Oh, what gun did we get here? A primal rifle again. We got a drop. Insta-kill. Oh, let's go. See, if this can get this right, then it's a really good sign. I'm almost tempted to try the Thompson. I really am, but I really want that wonder weapon. Right, one more spin. What the heck? Mark 7 assault rifle. Sounds good. 
Oh, it's fully auto. Yeah, hell yeah. Even the little details, salvation lies above. Like, they've got it absolutely accurate. And I know that they're working on Verrucht next and Kino de Toten. If you guys would like to see more zombie maps recreated in Fortnite here on the channel, let me know in the comments. We can definitely get that going. Although I'm starting to think this might be, just like in the original World at War, a very easy camping spot. Because they are just coming from that window. Oh, God. Oh, God. We do have quick revive, but... I need to get out of this. Oh, oh no. Okay, we're self-reviving. This is fine. It's our first down. It's completely fine. As soon as we get that wonder weapon, we'll be all good. The fact that it just works so well as well. Really, really impressive. Oh, God. Okay, let's get through here. Dang. I'm putting it out there. This is harder than normal knack. Way harder than normal knack. What is that drop? Oh, a nuke. Oh, lovely. And double points. Okay. I, I really need ammo. This is nuts. Okay, an automatic sniper. But I don't have enough resources to pick it up. Hello? We are in a truly, truly sticky situation here, ladies and gentlemen. Round nine of Fortnite zombies. Oh, Jesus. Look at the amount of zombies there are. Okay, I've got 1,200, so I can get the Thompson if I want. These purple zombies are kind of wild, man, honestly. The way they work is fascinating compared to normal zombies, because kind of just all spawning down here okay so we can buy ammo on the wall oh god i need ammo for this thing so it's a two hit down okay there we go there it is getting past this though <laughs> it's not happening <laughs> yeah i i'm actually pretty surprised that this is as hard as it is like the knife is still pretty good but like being realistic how are you supposed to take out this many zombies with just a knife and the way that the uh, zombies keep spawning is just so unusual what you'd expect but this is the way to play it to just keep kniving them i mean it is working in our favor it's just can you get through this door they're just constantly spawning yeah it's a rip <laughs> oh my god so when the game's over, you spectate here for 30 seconds. You're, you're up in the sky. You're like out of bounds of Nacked and Toten. But even the out of bounds looks exactly like the out of bounds of Nacked and Toten. That is really impressive. And you, you spectate here for 30 seconds until the round ends. But because I'm playing on my own, we'll just be up here forever. Look at that. There's even a power up there. Oh, okay. Victory round one of 100. <laughs> Imagine getting a victory royale every round you beat on zombies. But how insane is it when you play this in first person? Like, this truly doesn't feel like Fortnite anymore. This is first person. You can't see your hands aiming, but it is essentially Call of Duty zombies. This is pretty much Call of Duty zombies. It's kind of wild. And when you think of it, it's not easy to recreate Call of Duty zombies from scratch in a completely separate game but these guys have done it if anything this feels more scary i think this also gives you a better appreciation for the detail that's gone into this like this is insane like fortnite on a level has really advanced in the last year or so since i last played it like this unreal engine 5 like graphically the game looks really impressive when you think about what fortnite is it doesn't look like this yet yeah, here we are so look at this first person mystery box like, what are we going to get? Are we getting the ray gun? No, we're getting literally exactly what we got last time. Okay, let's check the upstairs in first person now. This just feels so alien. It really does. Like, even the plane is exactly as it was in Knacked Out there. It is just pretty insane what people can do nowadays. And gets me excited for the future of custom content in Call of Duty and just all video games. I think this is amazing. All right, something a little bit different now. A shotgun, I think. Oh my god, where was this when I was doing the third person run? If you guys would like to try this out, again, massive shout out to Eternity FC. You can see the code on the top if you guys want to try it out in Fortnite. And this is what being downed in first person looks like. Bro, you're even crawling. Dare I say it, that's more realistic than actual COD zombies where you're just lying on your butt. 